From 1953 to 1987, the water supply at the Camp Lejeune Marine Corps base in North Carolina was contaminated with extremely high levels of toxic chemicals. In response to this contamination, the federal government has directed a number of public health agencies to study and evaluate the impact that this contamination had on the long-term health of Camp Lejeune residents and employees. The ATSDR, which is an investigative branch of the CDC, has been studying the health impact of the Camp Lejeune water supply for three decades. In 2014, the ATSDR released a study that found that in utero exposure to the chemicals in the Camp Lejeune water led to an increased risk of birth defects. Camp Lejeune babies in the study were four times more likely to have neural tube birth defects, such as spinal bifida, and oral cleft defects compared to a control group. In 2015, a special committee of experts was formed by the Veterans Administration to review the available scientific evidence and provide guidance on what health conditions could be linked to the Camp Lejeune water based on reliable evidence. The clinical guidance published by this VA committee confirmed the ATSDR findings that neural tube birth defects were caused by in utero exposure to the contaminated water at Camp Lejeune. For many years, the victims of the water contamination at Camp Lejeune have been blocked from bringing civil lawsuits. Now, however, Congress is on the verge of passing a new law that will give Camp Lejeune victims the right to bring claims for their injuries. The new law also adopts a lowered burden of proof standard for causation. Under this revised evidentiary standard, Camp Lejeune victims with ballot defect claims should be able to easily establish causation.